Right guys, Gaft is back, but before we get into the explanation of um, this particular card trick, I want to send a special happy birthday to HT Magic. This guy is a long, and I mean long suffering Gaff Squad member. So let's all clap. Why are we going to clap? Come on, Gaffer. Happy birthday to HT Magic. Cheers, kid. Right. I did use my cheap roughing stick on this particular trick and it worked. Let me just show you what I've done. Right, to start out, we do need a top of the box gaff and the box to go with it. I've got a four of hearts prediction written on a post-it note stuck on the box and I've also got one that looks fairly similar so that when these two go over the top, the spectator will hopefully not notice this has actually changed. So you're going to need that. And I've also, um, because this gaff is going to be this way round, I've got my roughing stick and I've just roughed it down the edge of this top of the box gaff. That is so when I've got a four of hearts, because I'm going to have a four of hearts face up, when this particular gimmick is over the top, when I spread, that roughing stick will help me hide that four. So I've just roughed this edge slightly with the roughing stick. Now it doesn't work perfectly because you've got an extra piece of paper here, but it works well enough to hide it. You could do a block push off, but I rely on gimmicks to help me out. So you're going to have your four of hearts, your prediction on the top of the deck face up, followed by your top of the box gaff on top of that. This can all go in the box with your gimmick here. And you're good to go. Obviously you're not going to show the front of the box, but let me just show you something crazy. Take the cards out, close the box up, put the box aside. Right, Spectator's got a free choice of any card, so let's say they pick this one. I mean, at the beginning you could show the cards to be all mixed up, as long as you don't go too far and expose this. But for now we're just going to get the Spectator to choose any card. Now somebody noticed that um, this is a bicycle card and this is a maiden back card. That is purely because I was struggling to find a red deck of cards. Yes, I know it's hard to believe, but I know this is a proper deck because it is a special deck I don't want to destroy. So Spectator is going to choose this card. You're going to place this on the top of the deck and get the Spectator, give them the option to change their mind before we turn this card over. Because I did make a prediction. If they're happy with this card, turn it over and show it to be the Ace of Spades. Now, before the trick started, I did make a prediction. This is going to freak you guys out, but I predicted the Four of Hearts. Oh, it's not really a match, is it? But what about if I could change that Ace into the Four of Hearts? You can now show these cards to be all mixed up if you want. But that's basically it, guys. It's just the top of the box stealing the spectator's real chosen card and you're just going to change it. So it's just another limitless use for the top of the box gaff, just a new idea for you. So comment, subscribe, like guys and let's all wish HT Magic a very happy birthday. Cheers bud.